on the table. It's Sonic the Hedgehog. How many Sonic figures do you see here? There are a ton of Sonic figures that I've slowly collected over the last year. Hi everybody, it's Dan at Squirrel Stampede and we are going to go through all these great Sonic figures from Jack's Pacific. We've got the four inch and the two and a half inch lines. These are the poseable Sonic figures, not the bendy ones we had saw earlier in the year. Many figures, maybe you will see your favorites. Let's get right to these. All right, let's have a race. It's classic Sonic versus modern Sonic versus Landry. Whoever gets the Chaos Emerald at the end wins my respect. On your mark, get set, go! And they're off. They each hit the first yellow bumper. And it's Landry. Landry is the first to get the motorbug. And they continue on to the second red bumper. Whoa. Looks like Modern Sonic is going up top. Classic Sonic sticking to the bottom right for the Chaos Emerald and Landry is stuck in the turbine. He cannot get out of that loop. I think it's gonna be Classic Sonic. No, wait, here comes Modern Sonic from above. No, and Landry spun out and got the Chaos Emerald at the last second. Landry Squirrel has won the Chaos Emerald. He has won the Chaos Emerald. Uh-oh. And Dr. Eggman has stolen the Chaos Emerald. Squirrel Stampede! Squirrel Million! Approved! So many Sonics, where to even start? Well, if you recall, we have already checked out the bendable Sonics in great detail. They were mostly available in, what, 2019 now and a little bit of 2020. I think one of them may have even played some soccer. So in 2020, Jack started to introduce the more articulated, poseable Sonic figures. And that's where my Mountain of Sonic began. But now I'm trying to remember which Sonic I got first, I think. Oh boy, so this Sonic has a accessory bumper included. And those are what's on the back. I think this was the first series. Then there was a second series. Look at that. Oh, sorry Landry. There was another series and this one had a Chaos Emerald included. Flipping over to the back. Yeah, this collection had Mighty. I kind of feel like this was a second run. Never saw Mighty in the store. I believe both of these Sonics are the exact same. This Sonic has something going on with his eye. What is that, an eye mole? Ow. So out of the two that I should open, this one's a better painted Sonic, but I kind of want the Chaos Emerald. I want to play with that. So I'll just bump this one aside. I really don't need double Sonics opened up. And we'll see what this new articulated Sonic is going to feel like. Ah! Okay, so here's our mid to late 2020 articulated Sonic. Always a little tricky with these because of the quills on the back of his head make him a little bit tippy sometimes. So we have him kind of pushed forward more than I would want. He is standing though and looks really terrific. This is more in line with how Jack Specific does the Mario figures, the Nintendo figures with the articulation now and instead of the bendy. They're very similar when you bring back the bendy. Bendy Sonic also wants to tip over. They're very similar and I actually really appreciated the bendy line. I think it worked pretty well. There's a few issues in keeping him standing and not as many posable positions, but I think it was a worthy start for the Sonic series. So what do we have for articulation? It's going to be a little trickier in this scale because sometimes when you've got really thin arms, it works differently with the articulation. Not as much to work with, but it's going go well so far. We've got shoulders that have hinge joints and move about on pivots. The wrists rotate. Hips, and they look a little scary. They look a little tight, but it's working pretty well. And knees. And also, the feet are on kind of a ball joint. We all saw how he lost his foot there. So, pretty good on articulation. The challenge is the back of his head is so heavy, he may want to tip over on himself. Right now, we've got him in a good spot. So I'm pretty impressed with this articulated Sonic. Also, this Chaos Emerald accessory is top notch. I wish they had begun the series with the Chaos Emeralds right from the start so we can get all the colors going. Many of the other figures just have accessories from the game, kind of like this new Classic Sonic. And I believe this Classic Sonic is just fresh off the press. The factory. The conveyor belt. What am I trying to say? It's a Classic Sonic and I found it just this past week over at Target, so this is probably the latest and greatest series. I miss how Jack Specific used to work with the world of Nintendo toys where they had Series 1-3, Series 2-4. It was a little easier to keep track of series that way. 
the world's fastest blue hedgehog. Sonic runs at ultra high speeds and can curl into a spiky ball to protect himself and attack enemies. It's funny, in this classic series of Sonic, his packaging is a little different than the other characters available. I'm trying to remember if I saw Knuckles at the store now. I think I might have and missed Knuckles, so I might have to go back and look. But we do have the other three in this series. Let's open up Classic Sonic, my favorite, and see how he compares to Modern Sonic. Ah, again! Oh, sorry, Sonic. I'll take Sonic for $500. And Sonic is out of the package and he's cute. What a terrific first run figure for Sonic Classic and Jack Specific. And I even got him into this terrific pose right out the bat. I don't want to move him. He just looks like he's about to just zip off. He's got such attitude. Love the color scheme. A little bit brighter blue. Always my favorite Sonic as these are the Sonic games that I enjoy the most. The classic versions. Articulation should be pretty much the same. We've got head rotation, kind of on a ball joint. Did I notice that with other Sonic? What kind of head rotation did he have? This one almost feels like it was on a post instead of a ball. I can't totally tell. We've got shoulders on hinges and pins. We've got wrists that rotate, hips, knees, and again with the feet that detach. If you want to take Sonic's shoes off, you can. He just looks like it was amputated. And this is a cool little bumper accessory. I'm so impressed it actually has a spring to it. I did not think that would happen. Usually the Jack Specific accessories are a one-piece plastic thing. So I'm super excited how classic Sonic turned out. Stands a little better too, just a little better. Maybe because he just fell over on screen. No, maybe because he's a little shorter and I'm having a little easier time standing him, except for that fall. So who gets to be opened up next? Of course, Sonic's number one wingman, Tails. And I believe this is the Tails that goes along with this series, Classic Sonic. However, somehow, in my collection of Sonic, I also have this version of Tails. They look exactly the same. Oh wait, there may be a difference on the Tails, actually. So our new series, Tails, has a propeller tail back, if you can kind of see it. His two tails are going off in different directions, I think. This Tails has the tails, both of them, pointing up straight. So there is a slight difference on this. It's really hard to tell between classic and modern tails too. I don't think they tried to do that at all. They both look very much like tails in between. I'm gonna go with the most modern newest tails today. I think I wanna see the propeller tails going if they do spin. So let's open this one up. Sorry, Landry. Okay, so there's our most recent tails out of pack with articulation, and all the articulation seems very similar. Shoulders, wrists, hips, knees, and feet. Of course, this tails has the propeller tail going. Does it spin or anything? Oh, it does have a little bit of rotation. It doesn't spin fast or anything, but you can rotate these around. That's pretty cool. I think that's the better of the tails designs. And I'm going to say probably more of a classic Tails look. This was the bendable Tails, a much larger figure. He's got the double Tails pointing up, and of course it's a little trickier to stand with the bending arms. I think they've done really well with this one. It matches up to Sonic, classic Sonic perfect. So I guess that answers my question if this Tails is more classic, I think it is. So many Sonics today, are you confused yet Landry? So let's go back to 2020 series of Sonic with Shadow. And this Shadow Pack was with the series with Bumper Sonic, Tails, and Dr. Eggman. I remember at the time Shadow was kind of hard to find. I finally found one a little bit after I found the other three. So let's open up Shadow, see what he looks like. And so there is Shadow out of the box. I don't believe I ever had a bendable Shadow figure. Shadow looked terrific though, great paintwork, a little fuzzy chest there, and probably the better of the shoes, right? A little trickier to stand this one. I don't know why, maybe it's the shoes, the way they stand. They're not hugging the table very well. He wants to fall over backwards. And here's how he compares to modern Sonic, who's also wanting to fall over a little bit. You can work with them, they'll stand. Shadow has a 10 ring piece and is a perfect adversary figure for your Sonic figure to run around with. Now, to confuse us even more, <laughs> from the most recent wave, we've got Super Shadow. I never even realized there was a Super Shadow. What game did Super Shadow first appear? 
I guess it seems obvious, collect all the Chaos Emeralds and you become super. And maybe it will help with your standing thing. Oh, look at the bottom of those sneakers, those are cool looking. You gonna stand, Shadow? You gonna stand? Over on the back here, already the ultimate life form, Super Shadow can take things a step further. His speed and power are limitless. Let's open up Super Shadow. And a Super Shadow out of package, that's kind of fun to say without slipping. Pretty much identical to Shadow, only just a repaint. The back of the box has this Chaos Emerald looking more red, but it's kind of a pinkish tone. But pretty cool on Jack Specific to do a Super Shadow. The one thing I definitely want to see from Jax more is characters that we don't typically see, and there are a lot of characters we have not seen yet. So that leaves us with one last 4-inch Sonic the Hedgehog figure. We've got Dr. Eggman. This Dr. Eggman comes with a checkpoint accessory. I believe this was the most current. No, wait, this was probably the second. This Dr. Eggman also appeared. I had accidentally purchased, I had really only planned to get one Dr. Eggman, but then forgot that I found the Dr. Eggman. Both of these have great accessories. Oh man, which one do I open? I would love the spike accessory for Sonic to fall on, but the checkpoint accessory also would be a lot of fun. I think I'm gonna go with the spikes, just narrowly. An evil genius, Dr. Eggman has been battling Sonic for world domination. His intelligence always allows him to build armies, mechanize landscapes, and construct weapons. And the checkpoint Eggman has an evil genius with an IQ of 300. Dr. Eggman has been battling Sonic for world domination for some time. Great. And let's free Dr. Eggman. Oh, Dr. Eggman, you are too fantastic in articulated form. I don't even want to move him. This is the best position. They've got his rotundness just right. They've got his feet nice and big. Well done there. Here's our bendable Eggman, and this one always was a little tippy weird uh, because of the rotundness and the arms just were a little bit thick and hard to position. So great to see an articulated version now. What do we got? Oh, I have to move him out of this position. Uh, elbows are articulated with a hinge and rotation, and that's the same with the shoulders, wrists, hips are always kind of funny on this guy. They're a little, little different. They're kind of pushed up into his roundness, knees, and then it looks like a little bit of a ball joint maybe on those feet, something going on there. Ooh, I've got some plastic decay. Oh, watch out there, Eggman. But he's standing so well because those feet are so flat and big. What a terrific figure this is. A little bit of head rotation too, even though it's kind of stuck in the collar. So a terrific figure. He's looking exactly like the other figure with the checkpoint accessory, so whichever one you can pick up, it's going to be a great toy. One more time around with Eggman. Oh, this is a perfect toy. All right, so that leaves us with these three. They are pretty much identical, except for Tails has the two tails going up. I am not seeing too much anything different unless you do, let me know. I think I'll just keep these guys on standby. Maybe do a contest on Instagram. We'll see. Okay, so that brings us to an entirely different scale, the line of Sonic the Hedgehog figures that has been stacking about in my office for so, so long. I had been waiting forever to find more figures for the Green Hill Zone playset. For the longest time, all I really had was Sonic. It has only been really recently that I've been able to find more figures at the store for this scale, mainly the new classic Sonic, but then we found the Moto Bug, which is perfect for this. I wish we had more bad guy bots. And of course, Tails is new, and this is another rotating Tails spinny tail thing. I may have had Knuckles for a while, I can't remember. I think I had Knuckles in the office for a while. Oh, and look, Shadow's back. Shadow is back too. There are several, as you can see down on the bottom of the boxes, I've never seen Eggman at that scale. Little trickier to find these. I think they're starting to appear more often now. And then of course, this great Green Hill Zone playset. So let's open up a few of these and see how they look all together. And here we are outside the Green Hill Zone playset. Our two and a half inch figures opened up. It's pretty crazy because they are essentially the same thing, just half the scale or a little lesser. They look almost identical to the large scale figures. I don't believe their knees are articulated, but there's still articulation in the shoulders with hinges and rotation and in the hips, same thing. Although it can be a little tricky at that scale. So it kind of gives you the opportunity on what you want to collect. Do you want to go with something bigger with less play sets? Both scales are pretty fun. Look at Tails here. Tails has very swooshy tails going on as if they are in motion. 
in spinning motion. I don't believe they're going to spin rotate fast, but you can rotate them yourself if you wish. There we've got Knuckles with the giant fists of pointiness. And I think my favorite toy of the day has to be this little motobug toy. It's got a working wheel. It's even got a little grip, rubber grip, I think, to this wheel. And uh, he's really fun to roll around. Whoa, watch out. Too bad they can't pop break these open and rescue a little small animal. That would have been the perfection, but yeah, this is my favorite toy of the day. Pretty funny how you just don't see Sonic Bad Guy bots often. Oh, I should add the Green Hill Zone playset does come with a regular Sonic. This is the Sonic. It looks to be in the single packs, and I think it's exactly the same, so have an extra Sonic there. What do we have with Green Hill? This is mostly a very nice display piece. It's a perfect backdrop to both scales of figure, really. We've got several positions to stand figures. Here's Shadow just about to fall off a ledge. There's a point to stand on, a point here. We've got rings on three points up here. You can take them off, place figures on if you'd like. You can place and stand figures up here. It's just such a very nice, lively little set build here. Let's spin it around, see what's on the back. Okay, not much going on the back, just how it's going to work. Who wants to run around in circles? Uh, classic Sonic or New Sonic? Let's use modern New Sonic. I think he was, he came with the set, so we'll go with what came with the set. Place him down on here. It's a little tight. Then we have this little rotating hand, a spinny tap thing that you'll want to grab onto as you spin Sonic around the loop. Oh, Sonic, he doesn't want to hold on today. Try it again here. There we go. Whoa! So a little playful trial and error is needed. Oh, and look at this, you can also place the rings on the inside of the loop. There are three pegs to go around the top. And now Sonic can endlessly run around and try to get those rings. Or fall off again. Landry, how about you give it a try? It's kind of funny how the playset loop confuses you into looking like a 3D runnable track when all it is on its side is two dimensions. There's no ramp here to run up and then run out, kind of like a Hot Wheels ramp. No, this is just Sonic running in circles on the loop, but that's kind of what happens sometimes when he gets locked into a spin in the game. It makes for a great background piece, and I like the little extra rings it comes with. Oh my goodness, we sped through those Sonics quite quickly. I would say my favorites were the Motobug, uh, classic Sonic, totally delivered, and Dr. Eggman. What an action figure that turned out to be. If you like today's video, please give us a squike, a squirlibe, and a squament. Let us know your favorite Sonic character of today or whatever you didn't see today. Thanks for watching, that's what I have to say about that. Ha 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 ha!